welcome to the home of the Singapore Grand Prix, the Marina Bay circuit. Unfortunately, it's as close I can get to it. Um, they're getting lots of stuff ready for the Chinese New Year celebrations. But yeah, here's turn 17. They come this direction. This point in there. So this is turn 17. Coming up to the straight to 18, which is the pit exit. 19, the home straight. So this is how close it actually is to the financial district and to the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. This and is my third circuit now. I've done Silverstone in the UK. I used to work there as well for the event. I've done Monte Carlo or Monaco and now Singapore. So we'll have a walk around and, and show as much as we can, but the, they've, they've closed it all off because there's some Chinese New Year celebrations. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to go on the track, which is sad boy, sad face, sad face. Sad face, I just like to walk on the circuit and just... We'll, we'll see what we can see and um, hopefully we'll be able to get a better view of some things anyway. But yeah, it's a, it's a very fast circuit, it's a night race like we said earlier. Tough for the drivers and tough for me because I can't walk on the circuit. But hey, living the dream. <laughs> There's a uh, gardens by the bay. Oh, sorry, over there, I'm pointing at the wrong thing. And the Singapore flyer, 35 meters higher than the London Eye. as I may have mentioned in previous videos. It goes a lot slower as well, doesn't it? I don't know what the London Eye goes like, but that one is really slow. You can have dinner in there, apparently, for a small fortune. I think it might cost you a kidney. Singapore's very expensive. They charge you for everything. But <laughs> they don't charge you for going to the toilet. Oh, okay. Do they? I, I don't know. It is a very expensive city, but it's very beautiful. We really love being here. And it's clean, so clean. So this is turn 18. They come from this direction, okay, here. When they have to go into the pits, when they have to go into the pits, they come through here inside the red and white strips and they'll peel off. Um, yeah, this is, the, this is the corner here to the home straight. That big stand over there is the pits and hospitality and the paddock club. Let's go and see what else we can see. It's such a shame that all the barriers are there and it is literally just for Chinese New Year, but we had a chat with the guard yesterday to see if they'd let us in and there's like absolutely no chance. We beg, Not happening. Uh, but yeah. yesterday we got to the, uh, the garages, didn't we? Yeah. Which is at the back of here. See, this is turn 19. This is the last corner um, to finish a lap before you hit the main home straight. You see where the grandstands are on the right. Opposite the grandstands is the paddock club, the hospitality, the pits, of course, um, all the commentary boxes. And uh, in front of us is the main sponsor, uh, which is Singapore Airlines. That's the runoff area. So when they do off, come off the track, and need to come off the track, they hit this, it's their safe zone. What speed would they be hitting that at? 130 miles an hour. Oh my life. Oh uh, yeah, quite fast. Just like yesterday, or the day before. Well, they're taxi was. drivers, yeah. I think they're all trying to be F1 drivers. It's so much smaller than I thought it would be. They make it look so big on the TV. But you can imagine, can't you, when you've got like 20 cars trying to go through one corner. I know, that's what I'm saying. It's crazy that there's not more accidents because it's not big, is it? No. Is no. this a, a small track compared is, to yeah, a diesel? Yeah, smallish because it's a street circuit. Obviously, 
they use in the streets. Um, but this here is a permanent structure. They will come off this little complex and they go into the streets yeah. of Singapore, around the skyscrapers and the, uh, the Fullerton Hotel, Raffles, and obviously Marina Bay. Not a bad setting for a Grand Prix race, is it? That was amazing. In front of us now is um, the start of the grandstand, the south, not the grandstand, the, the paddock area. That building there. I should imagine that's the FIA office, that is. Yeah. So the crowd are really close to the actual track then, aren't they, on this grandstands here? Yeah, the ones over there obviously are makeshift grandstands, the ones with the yellow seats. Now they're built over the pit garages themselves. Uh, oh, okay, so they wouldn't normally be there then? No, so it's no. just this side That's the major structure for the event that's happening. Ah, okay. You can see the F1 above the garage and the FIA. That's where the safety cars will be and, and the control cars and stuff like that. And the medical car. Uh, so it's just the ones this side yes, closest to us then? Yes, that's a permanent then. structure that is. Wow. It's close though. It must be deafening. Must be expensive. <laughs> it must be no. expensive, yeah. Nah. There's no way we're jumping over the fence. I think there's cameras everywhere, I should imagine. We'll see if we go and see some uh, names on some garages, shall we? So do they keep them up the whole time then? What, the garages? Yeah. Yes. And the names should be across the garage. Okay. From last year. Oh, we've got some names. Oh, who have we got here? Carla Sainz and Charles Leclerc. Ferrari. Ferrari. Oh, see, I'm learning. Yeah. Yeah, 15 Carla Sainz. You can't imagine that their cars go in those garages, can you? No. Because, like I said, they're not big. You've got to imagine all the, the pit crew working outside the garage as well. God, yeah. Wow. Time for another sad face, I think. We're going to milk this. Sad face. That's not a sad face, that's better, that's a good sad face. I've got clothes. I can see Carlos Sainz. Okay, you can see his photo. <laughs> and I can see the Singapore night. home of Formula One night racing. Okay, that's as close as we're going to get. He's found another garage. All the others are covered over, sadly. Excuse the noise of the aircraft, a lot of aircraft today. <laughs> oh, we have McLaren. Oscar Piastri. And who's his teammate? Lando Norris. Lando There's Norris. There's no picture of Lando. No. He's about the only one I know. He's behind the grandstand. Ah. Uh, see? Yeah, okay. But oh, yeah. It's gutted that he couldn't see Lewis Hamilton. He's covered up with the grandstand. He's covered over. <laughs> He's not good enough anymore. Oh yeah, there we go. The home of the Singapore Grand Prix. I'm not sad, I'm happy. <laughs> That's a happy face. I'm really. happy. Good, okay. So this is the food court at the Marina Bay shopping mall. It all just looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> So fresh. Don't ask me what it no. is. <laughs> the majority of it we have actually had no idea at all what it is. This looks fresh. It just looks so fresh. All different noodles and uh, things that we have no idea what they are. Mushrooms and bok choy. Lots of mushrooms. Fish things. I don't know what some of it is. I'm not entirely sure what that orange spongy thing is. It's 
smell is amazing and it's really busy pig stomachs and pig organs seem to be quite a popular dish here you have to return your trays as law as law dictates no leaving a dirty table Spatch cooked chicken for the chicken wings for the hot coals chili crab there's all sorts delicious food wow those scallops are huge Chicken up and his bottom boiled. I'm not sure that looked particularly appetizing. I'm sure it's tasty, but it didn't look very appetizing. But it seems to be really popular. It's so busy, people are literally waiting for, for you to move so they can get your table. A little suckling pig or duck. Oh, it doesn't look very appetizing with their heads on. <laughs> <laughs> But it's really busy mall. And then bizarrely pizzas and burgers. Various stage of corn <laughs> ducks or chicken, actually, chicken, I think. Probably in a way there. <laughs> Lobster scallop porridge. It's different. <laughs> so this has been quite high up on my list of things to do in Singapore. To go to to see Raffles Hotel. Is that the queue to get in up there? Uh, probably. So we're going to try and get in. I'm not sure if it's, they're going to let us in, and try and have a Singapore sling in the long bar. And what is a Singapore sling? I don't know. I'll tell you later. It's a drink. <laughs> so if you come out tipsy, would, it was nice. I think it was um. It was invented because in the colonial days, women weren't allowed alcohol, so 
they kind of made it look pretty so it didn't seem as though ladies were were drinking it's very understated compared to so many of the other places here so with a, with a rose tint this is it whether we're going to get in or not so that's what it is then The rose tint, tall ruffle, ruffles glass, and crisp pineapple and cherry garnish. The Singapore sling continues to be a favourite among guests even after a century. Singapore sling elates guests with a perfect fusion of acidity, sweetness, and bitterness, coupled with a dash of alcohol while remaining aesthetically pleasing. That sounds nice. I would try that. <laughs> the boss Mark is queuing up at the long bar for a drink. This is the back of Raffles. Hotel. It's very, it has a very sedate, old worldy kind of feel to it. Very beautiful. And it's just so strange, it's just surrounded by all the high rise buildings. Very nice. I'm very excited. But there is a queue. <laughs> But hopefully we'll get in. <coughs> Dress code permitting. I cannot believe everyone's queuing up to get an alcoholic drink. Why? This is Raffles. Good God, man. Wow. We're almost there. Raffles long bar, waiting for our Singapore sing. Thank you. Oh, sorry. No, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Just being shown to our table now. Hi. Thank you. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh wow. <laughs> Thank you. So there's the um, the peanut shells on the floor. I thought they were big peanuts. Oh. Yeah, and then the peanuts. I'm gonna pick up some peanut shells. But we've been told we're not allowed to film, so I'm not gonna film on here. But Mark never does this. Mark's usually the one with the sweeping brush. I don't know if I can cope that. <laughs> he doesn't know if he can cope that here now. So we've just enjoyed the Singapore Sling at the Raffles Hotel in Singapore. That was my Christmas present from Mark, so I don't think it's gonna get much better than that. So now we're in the gardens at the back of the hotel. It's so beautiful. It really is so lovely. So these used to be former, former horse stables that are now really nice shops. Just can't imagine someone living here. It's been so grand. It's very colonial. It's very colonial. Just beautiful. Really beautiful. Um, it's so serene. It's really calming in such a kind of a busy city that Singapore is. It's so you just zen in there. It's really lovely. Really, really beautiful. Thank you, Mark. The Inner Sanctum of Raffles Hotel. It's so beautiful. It really is. And I've got a dreadful feeling that we're going to be kicked out at any moment. You can't believe this is the middle 
of such a busy city full of high-rise buildings, this tropical oasis. It's very tranquil. It is, isn't it? You could just sit there, have another Singapore sling, <laughs> and just forget about everything. Can you tell we've had a Singapore sling? <laughs> you can sit here and have a Singapore sling and forget everything. <laughs> and throw peanuts on the floor. <laughs> peanut up either. <laughs> it's really amazing. I think at any moment they're going to play croquet or or polo yeah it was something on the grass oh my god this is just a dream you got ruins here no the i like it i like it it's just such a contrast but oh my god you can imagine the ladies with their full-length dresses and their hats and coming for tiffin what's tiffin hey. <laughs> Yeah, afternoon cake, isn't it? Oh, it's just so gorgeous. We're not tiffin people. And we're not staying here. <laughs> we're just um, <laughs> pretending that we're staying here. I think that's obvious. But one day, one day. Just beautiful. I think this puts Fullerton to shame. I do. You do? Yes. Wow. Have you seen the front of it? It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Nine Bagini. Just beautiful. So this is amazing, amazingly beautiful. Ruffles Hotel. <laughs> and Mark's pretending like he belongs again. <laughs> it's absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. It, for me, it puts the Fullerton to shame. It's just amazing. And a very kind man. Let's have his photograph. And then Mark's going to get in his car. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we're such dreamers. <laughs> Raffles Hotel, Singapore. For oh, once I'm speechless. So this is now at level four. There is the level five, which we will go up. We crammed so much in in them four days, well three days. <laughs> 